verse, we start with a single sine wave. This is then modulated from operator 2. Let's smoothen the envelope a little bit so that we have a slow attack. And let's change the algorithm to a two carrier mode. So we have operator one and three that will be audible. So this is still Operator 1, modulated by operator 2. Until we find some sweet spot where we like the wave that we created. And with a little bit of rework, we will know where this is going to get. So now with a little release. Adding a little variation to the envelope of operator 2. So the modulation will be also more variable. So now let's go to operator 3. In the beginning this also is just a sine wave. And like before we add modulation from operator 4. It's easier to listen to what you're doing when you listen to the dry signal. So let's tweak this envelope also. Since there is no release on operator 4, you hear the abrupt ending of the modulation. That is much smoother now. We can also vary the waveform of the operators, so now I'm turning this knob on the operator 4, which gives you, as you can see, different wave shapes. This is also a parameter that I have on the Novation. Let's do something different with this 
envelope because what I now want to do is to set a loop point and to make this shape of the envelope into a kind of an LFO. So this is the static waveform. And this is now the envelope looped from the beginning, from point one. With the rate scaling, you can adjust the speed of the envelope. As you can see. And now I add those other two operators, 5 and 6, in fixed ratio mode, so you can use them as an other LFO. Because they can be tuned down to 0 Hz, and with fine tune, you can rise the frequency. Here you can really listen to the detailed waveforms. Because they are now so slow that you can have various shapes of LFO with them. And now the LFO operator 6 is modulating operator 5. Let's adjust the envelopes, because this still is a pad. And now let's switch on operator 1 and 2 again, so we have the full sound with reverb, please. sound a little bit up by raising the frequency of operator 4. control this brightness a little bit, we can also use the filter. In this case I switched on both of them to low pass filter. You can see the effect in the spectrograph. There are also 
also is resonance, which mainly makes the sound much, much uh, thinner. Let's now add modulation to the filter. Therefore, I use the modulation wheel. So that was the first sound built from scratch. I hope you liked it. And see you again next time. <laughs>